Okay, so I'm going to do um, a short meditation really and just offer a bit of advice. I'm not a medical profession. I am qualified in many, many, many things. I've been guided by source first and foremost actually um, and then ended up having to do the qualifications afterwards. It's just how life has worked for me. Um, so I have, I have qualified in life coaching, mindfulness, meditation, um, EFT, DBT, loads of mental health training, counselling skills, health and social care, <laughs> alternative therapies, be even beauty therapy, a bit random, um, laboratory work, science, it's quite a lot. Um... Just so you know that, in case you need that. So, um, this is a piece of art I created. It was to remove something from me. At least I think that's what it is at this moment in time. So what I noticed before was I really wanted to go out of the house. I uh, had this like... You know, like, have you ever heard of fight or flight? A little bit like that. I had this feeling like I really needed to get out. So instead of going out, I made myself stay in. Because I wondered what I was running away from. So I sat with it and did a bit of self-inquiry, which is just writing, really, of um, just acknowledging um, I, I'm sat here and I felt this urge to go out. Do I actually need to go out? Or am I just feeling like I want to run away from something? So uh, personally, I've gone through a lot of torture, actually. It's beyond abuse uh, lately. And I'm coming to terms with that. So it's very obvious why I was wanting to run away. But this, this can happen to anyone. It can happen in the reverse as well, where people want to stay at home and don't want to go out. So it's similar. It's usually the car issues at the centre of it. Uh, but with this one, usually there's one predominant thing. But with this, I actually think there's quite a lot of a number of things what could be at the central car of that. So you could pause this and just do a little bit of self-inquiry if you're feeling any way perhaps at this moment um, where it seems to be something that's happening a lot, not just a one-off thing, but something that's happening a lot. It's very normal actually. We can get stuck in a rut. Maybe it could happen, this is what's coming to mind at the moment, like with your job. If you've got a job and you're like feeling like you really don't want to go in at all, you know, when you've got that sort of, you've been in your job for a long time, or maybe it's it's not aligned to who you are, or maybe there's abuse or bullying at work, um, or anything of that nature, uh, you could you could be feeling that way, and this is where you could have a point of self reflection and self inquiry. So. If you just close your eyes or focus on a point or just sway, move, whatever feels right for you in meditation, I can't tell you that. That's something that you've got to develop for your own self and it may be different each time. And just to acknowledge what you're feeling today, whether it's inside or externally, whatever you feel you need. And just feel if there's any emotion, strong emotions that's coming up from within you, or even a numbness. And then just allow something to reach you, which is going to show you how you can either express that through creativity, or how you can address that through self-inquiry it might be a colour it might be a word it could be something like meditation mantra 
painting, dancing. You might just feel an urge to do something. If you don't get anything at all, totally fine as well. Someone might mention it to you. It could come through in a variety of ways. Just allow it if it feels right for you. So just invite in sourcing or whatever you believe in for you personally. If there's any healing that needs to be done, please guide and direct each and every person on the personal path and journey. May you bring a sign that you're with us. Just sitting or lying down in that space that you're in or moving, whatever it may be. Just acknowledging that you're here, you could say your name, touch your skin, connect with yourself, connect with your body. Be here, feeling your fingers against the palm of your hand, feeling you, knowing that you are here, feeling um, whatever you sat on or whatever you're lying down on or your feet on the floor, wherever it is. Just being here now like you are. And if you are feeling like running off while you're doing this or the mind's very um, mad, chaotic, lots of thoughts, that kind of thing. Just acknowledging that that's just how things are at the moment. You don't need to change it. If the mind is like that, it's probably grounding that's needed, by the way. And grounding can be just a matter of going outside barefoot on cold land. Uh, whether that be flags or whether it be grass or in a little bit of water if that doesn't seem to work. The overthinking makes the energy go towards the head, you see. Um, that's how I see it anyway. If um, anyone contradicts that, please let us know. So by coming back into the body and, and spreading the energy down and grounding the energy and earthing the energy to Mother Earth. And don't, you know, don't forget to give her a good thank you. Don't forget to thank Sauce. As I'm doing this, I'm just looking and there's a squirrel watching me. <laughs> it's just uh, playful. They to me, they represent, oh, there's another one as well. To me, they represent playfulness and the fact that they're chasing one another is a take it or leave it a sign. So maybe you could add that to your day. How can you find some playfulness in your day? Could you do something to connect with your inner child? Like finger painting? We can do these things as adults. It's, uh, I think it's a necessity sometimes. To just do a bit of drawing or just something what you maybe like to do when you was a, a child to just allow yourself to heal those parts if, if they're in need of healing. 
and to just bring attention to all of you. So you can continue this meditation just by carrying on and when it's finished. Or just coming round now to yourself and your body and everything that you are. And just opening your eyes if you've had them closed. And just bringing yourself back into wherever you are. I hope there's been something on this for you that's going to be of use. Again, this is all my work from my own personal journey. A lot of the wisdom that's come from this has been from personal experience. It's not copied from elsewhere. It's it's my own um, findings. That's not to say that it doesn't overlap with other people's stuff because that's just how life is. Um, so please respect that. It is my work and um, use what's needed, but please don't use me. Blessings all.